Watching the feeds very closely, our sister station in Kansas City has been wall-to-wall uh, -wall coverage on this. So we got an update from law enforcement uh, in the last hour. And just here's a shot of the sheer chaos that played out. This was at the end of the Chiefs Super Bowl parade. Right at the very end, the rally on the stage, the team was up there, and um, then there were shots fired. So again, at least one person dead, 10 to 15 others injured, including eight children. Two armed suspects have been detained and if we take a look here at some of the uh, we saw multiple shots of people taking uh, being taken away on stretchers lots of law enforcement out there they're telling us 800 plus uniformed officers on scene there so again uh, three of those said to be in critical condition here's another shot um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a look here there was just a lot of chaos because as you can imagine once you heard shots fired people just went scrambling running for cover hunkering down under Beneath the bleachers by the stadium um, by Union Station police set up a reunification area a lot of fans got split up and uh, the mayor and the chief said this was really a frustrating day because it went from a day of celebration upended by this turn of events and violence let's take a listen to what the chief said about an hour ago I'm angry at what happened today the people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. We had over 800 law enforcement officers, Kansas City and other agencies, at the location to keep everyone safe. Yeah, she said that they were well prepared and those officers ran towards danger and in fact got help from at least one fan to take down at least two armed suspects. And again, we're standing by for an update that should happen um, at any moment now. So as soon as they get to the podium, we'll be sure to break in and let you know about that. Patrick Mahomes, all the chiefs have been accounted for. They got out of the area safely. We are, we are hearing from um, the mayor and governors that the White House even reached out saying if you need any assistance federally, we'll be there to back you up. But again, they're still assessing uh, the latest. We're hearing one dead up to 15 others injured, including eight children. So as soon as we get any new details, we'll be sure to break in and let you know them.